Nikki and welcome to another video. In today's video, as you saw from the title, I will be sharing all of the chest locations in Davinia Park, all of the updated chest locations in Davinia Park. So I'm going to cut off here and just get straight into the video and show you guys all of the locations. But quickly, just a reminder, if you would like to see more videos like this with tutorials, make sure you hit that like button and let us know in the comments below. And yeah, let's get on to the showing the chest locations right as soon as you spawn in you usually spawn in around this area for the first chest location all you have to do is walk forward to the pink and white bridge and you should hear the little glittering sounds and that is the chest and all you have to do is jump off the bridge and right underneath in the water is the first chest with 250 diamonds. Um, I think I might open this one already, but yeah, that's the first chest. Um, and then all you have to do for the next chest is to fly over to the right side of the water. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can make my faster flight faster. Like if I could use my faster flight. There we go. So all you have to do is fly over from the river. So this is where the bridge is. So you follow the river a little bit until you see the green screen. And then you fly over to the green screen and take a left over to these three trees, these three big trees. And right in the middle of the trees, you should find the second chest, which I opened um, already as well. And it is also 250 diamonds as well. Let me just take this off the screen real quick for the third chest you fly past these three trees until you find it's literally so it's right across like straight so if you fly straight from the chest to the water over here you see a tree right here on a little island and if you go fly over to the tree under the water if you just keep flying around under the water you should find the third chest with 500 diamonds in it for the fourth chest you have to fly over to this bridge right to so if you look over um, to the right of this tree on the island there will be two bridges and what you need to do is fly over to the bridge the right sided bridge so this bridge fly past it and go into the water underneath and you will find another chest with a thousand diamonds that's the fourth chest so for the fifth chest what you have to do is fly past the waterfall to the it depends on what way you're looking at it but if you're looking straight ahead at it it's to the right with this little like weird part of the the pond so you fly here you fly up past the hill where you see the little house and you go in front of the house and you have this little ledge and the fifth chest is right here with another 250 diamonds now the sixth chest if you go back over to this little building over here it's actually a bathroom so if you fly in there will be these stalls and in one of these stalls you just gotta listen for the sound i think it's this one yep and in one of these stalls there will be another chest with 500 diamonds now the seventh chest is kind of hard to find so what you're gonna have to do is follow this little path just for a little bit past the path so you follow the path up into this big chunky tree and then you pass it and you keep flying follow this river until you get to this cave and once you get to this cave you're gonna fly underneath the water and just keep flying for a little bit until you find the chest now it's kind of far away from the entrance so it's gonna take you a while but it's in this cave the first cave you find and it's right through here and it's right here and inside is yet another 1000 diamonds okay now i'm pretty sure this is the eighth chest the eighth chest is you just fly back out of the cave the way you came from 
Then you take a left and pass this big tree that we were talking about. You pass this funny looking tree and you keep going and you keep going until you get to these three trees in a row. So it's pretty, it's pretty close to the entrance of the little cave that we went to. And then you will find this little dip in the ground with another chest, the eighth chest with another 250 diamonds. Once you collect that chest, the ninth chest is if you come back out the way you came, follow this little path you came from back to this funny little tree and you come back to this big tree and it's right outside the cave that we just left. If you follow this path of the river, not that path, it's the path that goes directly in front of the little cave that we came out of for the seventh chest. If you just follow this river and keep following it, you will find the next one. So just follow my lead. If you need any help, you could slow down the video and find your way to the ninth chest. Okay, so once you keep flying to follow this river, um, you will find these two little dips. And in one of these dips, it's the second one on the left, you go in and underneath the water, yet again, is another chest with 350 diamonds. Okay, so now the next chest is all you have to do is fly up and out of the water and once you get out of the water you come on the opposite way you came in so we came in this side if you keep flying in like through the little cave then you will find the little this little tiny bridge and if you follow this little tiny bridge to this little waterfall it's a little tiny waterfall and you fly up onto the waterfall and jump into the water you will find the next chest with 500 diamonds the next chest is over here by this little bridge and there's another island with a big tree on it so if you pass this big island with a big tree in this little cave here you jump in the water and go underneath this little bridge you will find the next chest oh with 250 diamonds my camera is kind of going all over the place so next what you're gonna have to do is you're going to reset we're gonna reset all the way back to the beginning and we are going to fly around and find the cabin okay so after you reset what you're going to do is you're going to fly straight in a straight line now keep in mind i have the faster flight game pass so this might take longer um for anybody who doesn't have the faster flight game pass so if you don't and this part might be confusing even if you do have faster flight or you don't Feel free to re-watch this part of the video as many times as you need to. But after you reset, you're going to fly in a straight line. Just keep flying a straight line past the fountain. And you're going to keep flying in a straight line past this little bridge, past the little archways. Keep flying past this little hill, past this little house. And then you come to this picnic table. Once you reach this picnic table, you're going to turn your camera, take a left. And you're gonna fly up onto this little hill past the little leaves and you're going to find this little oh my mouse got really big there you're gonna find this little archway thing and you're also going to find this little path with these little stairs and you're just gonna keep flying you might find this little patch of water here and you reached the cabin now once you reach the cabin you're going to come into the cabin. You're going to go up these stairs. And up these stairs is the next chest with 250 diamonds. Now, once you collect that 250 diamonds in the chest, you're going to need to reset once again and go to the beginning. Now, once you respawn, you're going to fly yet again straight ahead past the fountain into this little garden with this little fence surrounding this tree and these yellow flowers now once you reach the middle of this tree so like you're standing right in front of it you turn to the left and you see this little hill up here you're gonna fly up past this hill into this patch of water next to this little archway and you're gonna jump into the water and you will find the next chest with 500 diamonds so that is the final chest in divinia park so that will be the end of this video. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this helped. And if it did, please hit the like button and comment down below letting me know. And also let me know if you would like me to do more videos like this showing you all the hidden chests around Royal High. 
and um, yeah, feel free to wash this as many times as you need to find these chests because I know it can be a little confusing at first. But that's it, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!